Hey, this is Alex. Today I'm going to show you a couple of alternate uses for your uh, Tractor S2 in Ableton. I know it's all for Tractor, but uh, you know, if you got Ableton, why not use it? So let's uh, hop right into that. Okay, so first step you want to do is to put your S2 or your S4 in MIDI mode. To do that, you hold both shift keys and uh, you should go straight into MIDI mode. At that point, uh, go into Ableton just to test it. We'll hit the, uh, the MIDI button, up at the MIDI learn button up at the top. We'll uh, click a clip, just hit a button. Yep, see right there, it uh, maps straight to that. And uh, we'll map the first, say, uh, three clip sections in MIDI 1 to uh, sync, cue, and play. Shift won't work because obviously that's um, telling it to be in MIDI mode by having both shift keys pressed. And you'd, you'd mess that up if you change that. So now that we have these mapped, I, I've put a Tal Noise Maker in MIDI 1 because it's an awesome plugin. It's free. I'll put the link in the description for you. So first thing we want to do after that is to uh, load those three clips up with some bass notes. Clip 1, let's put a hmm, C sharp 3. Fun sound. Clip 2, let's do a F and so what we want to do is click on each clip, go down, hit the L in the bottom left hand corner, and look, you want to make sure it's on uh, toggle, because that will just turn it on and off every time you press it. That way you're not stuck in an endless loop. Also you want to make sure your loop is on so that way you, you can run indefinitely whenever you do that. Go to clip 2, same thing, make sure it's on toggle. You don't want any quantization, because otherwise that's going to delay it and try to sync it up with everything. You're going to rely totally on your own rhythm here. Or you can, you can put on quantization if you want to. Your choice, I'm not going to do that. So now that we have those uh, three notes, let's, uh, let's hook you up with uh, some drum beats, because you, you gotta have drum beats. Let's go into instruments. Impulse. Impulse is uh, really good. At first, I, d I dismissed it, but when you want a really quick beat, it's got good samples right there. You just program it in. Let's do a, a kick. So now we'll map over here. You can map it up here, but I'm gonna map it over here. We'll map those two clips, so right there and there. And now we wanna control the volume on these two because that was really loud and not well mixed. So we'll uh, click mini map there, just kind of wiggle your knob, it'll pick it up. Click mini map here, there we go. And then um, one more thing, I'm not gonna show it all to you, but let's uh, get some effects in there just to spice it up a little bit. Put a, let's see, a flanger on the beat. Just makes it sound a little more interesting. Afraid of bees, that's an interesting flanger. That's what that sounds like. Cool. Okay, so let's MIDI map that to a couple knobs here. We'll do uh, feedback. Let's put feedback, that's easy to change. Actually, no, we're going to change the pitch on the bass notes. So we'll go into Tal Noise Maker, click this little uh, button there, the little triangle, and then hit Configure. So once you open up Tal Noise Maker, or really any plugin, you just uh, move a knob, any knob you want to change, and it'll automatically become a parameter that you can control in Ableton and MIDI map to. So let's uh, transpose that we can change the pitch a little bit. So then I'll go into MIDI map. Hit transpose, and let's see. Let's put on the tempo knob here.
So that's just a really quick rundown of the things you could do with it. It's, you could make this as infinitely complicated as you wanted, but in essence, it's, it's just a MIDI controller that you can map to do whatever you want. And so why not take advantage of that with Ableton?